Hi, my name is Anthony Fanning, and today I'm going to introduce you to the LMX company and our solution for combating avian influenza. There is a current avian influenza pandemic that has resulted in the deaths of 500 million farm birds globally. The numbers on this slide show what is at stake. 500 million farm birds killed globally by avian flu and related culling to date, 1.5% of the global total for farm birds. This culling has resulted in £887 million being paid out in compensation to farmers across the US, EU and the UK. In the UK alone, that number was £42 million. Across the UK, there are over 1,000 poultry concentrated animal feeding operations or CAFOs. Including the number from the US, it jumps to over 51,000. In the UK, 251 of these operations received compensation of over £165,000 each. Nearly a quarter were compensated. Extrapolating those numbers across the US and EU and we see the costs quickly become colossal. Failing to find a solution to this problem could result in the destruction of the poultry industry in the UK. Insurance companies have already stated that they will remove insurance cover this November without further disease mitigations. Avian influenza is brought into the UK each year by migrating wildfowl and gulls. One of the main vectors of infection transmission to farm poultry is via airborne pathogens. The Ilimex solution works by removing 99.9999% of airborne pathogens from the air as they pass into the poultry house. In terms of competition, there is no technology that currently does this. Filters can't be used due to the level of dust which will quickly cause them to clog. To prove the technology, Ilimex with our partners are currently conducting a trial in Swarbrick Hall Farm in Preston. The purpose of this trial is to measure the difference installing an Ilimex UVC flu fence system into a poultry house containing a crop of boiler chickens has on the presence of airborne pathogens. This will be measured using aerosol sense air samplers. The Ilimex flu fence system has been designed to eliminate harmful pathogens as they pass through a poultry house air handling system. Pathogens are eliminated because UVC light damages virus RNA and bacteria DNA, rendering them harmless. In this trial, the Ilmex flu fence system has been installed in the riser that sits between the roof-mounted cowl and in-house air handling system. It consists of strategically placed UVC lamps, super-reflective material to increase light intensity, and titanium dioxide material lining the bottom of the riser to prevent UVC leakage. Air will be sampled in this poultry house for the lifetime of the crop, approximately 42 days, and will be compared to another poultry house on the same site that has no Ilmex flu fence system installed, but does have the air samplers installed. On July 21st, 2023, 55,000 broiler chickens were added to each poultry house. This first shed will be fitted with the Ilimex UVC flu fence system and four aerosol sense air samplers to measure the effects of the flu fence system. This second poultry house will contain air samplers only. This shows the inside of an empty poultry house. The air samplers are mounted five foot above the ground in each corner of the house. The air samplers run for a maximum of eight hours. The protocol involves one cartridge per sampler at day minus two, day zero, day 10, day 20, day 30, day 37, and 42 days per crop of birds. When collected, each sampler cartridge requires a sampler receipt form to be completed prior to being stored ready for collection. The air handling unit shown can move 40,000 meters cubed of air per hour when running at 100%. On average, when birds are present, they run at half that, or 20,000 meters cubed of air per hour. There are two rooftop cowls in each shed through which air passes from outside to inside. In the main test shed, each of these required an Ilimex flu fence system to be installed. The riser is shown here sitting between the cowl and the air handling system within the house. This shows the aerosol sense air sampling unit, four of which are installed in each poultry house. These units have been used in numerous tests, including in a trial conducted in Aidensburg Hospital in Cambridgeshire to check for the presence of airborne pathogens across several acute wards. This poultry house is fitted with a BMS. We will also be collecting information on system performance and eventually in-house pathogen detection that can be displayed on the BMS or through a standalone display. In summary, £887 million has been paid out in compensation across the UK, EU and US. The current avian flu pandemic is the worst in history and there is a global race to come up with a solution. Ilimex will have a working solution by the end of Q3 2023. Investment is required to scale the business to reach maximum market penetration quickly.